four and one on the show yesterday. Now 29, 12, and three over the last nine days here on the Power Five. Let's get right into Thursday selections. I've got three day games in Major League Baseball, so get ready to get your bets in early, plus a free college football winner for tonight as well. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with any questions or thoughts on my plays. We're going to get it started. The first play, under Giants, Brewers, shop around. You still may be able to find an 8.5, but I like this down to 8, which may surprise some of you, given how the two starters, Hayden Birdsog for the Giants and Aaron Savale for the Brewers, uh, how they've looked recently. Uh, they're not. Neither of them are really in good form. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute and why I think both of them can bounce back. But this is the rubber match of a three-game series between the Giants and Brew Crew. Remember, I cashed the 3% winner on the over in Tuesday's game. Giants won that 5-4. Brew Crew bounced back by winning 5-3 last night. This is a day game again, 2-10 Eastern time start. The thing with Savale is that he's generally pitched better at home this season, both with Tampa and here in Milwaukee. All four home starts for the Brewers have seen Savale allow two runs or fewer. With closer Devin Williams back in the fold, the Brewers' bullpen uh, now has the lowest ERA in all of baseball for the season. So we should be good on the back end as well. Turning to the Giants with Birdsong, you may recall he was great in July. 2.45 ERA in five starts. He stumbled a bit in August, I know. But last time out, Birdsong allowed just one run in four innings. I think we're going to get more of that here. So under, down to eight is the call for Giants and Brewers. I mentioned earlier, Power 5 on tremendous 29-12-3 and three run these last nine days. Well, if you've been enjoying the free winners, like under San Francisco, Milwaukee, which I just gave you, go ahead, smash that like button. Always appreciate the support. Also, don't forget about your opportunity to get a free week of winners at wagertalk.com. Find out more about that right now at my page, wt.buzz slash bp. Let's get back to the Power Five. Second play for today is Padres Cardinals under eight. We cashed the under in yesterday's game between these two teams. St. Louis ended up walking it off in the bottom of the ninth to win 4-3. That came on the heels of the Cards dropping the first two games of this series. It will be Sonny Gray on the mound this afternoon for the Redbirds. Now, he's certainly struggled uh, since the All-Star break, particularly when it comes to allowing home runs. However... In his career against the Padres, great 2-0 with the 1.64 ERA. Pardon me, his two previous starts against the Padres, 2-0 uh, with the 1.64 ERA. One of those was as recently as April. So I think Gray's going to be okay here. Uh, then you've got Michael King starting for the Padres today. He has had no issues of late. 2.29 ERA with only two home runs allowed since the break. As I mentioned on yesterday's show. Both these teams have good bullpens. So second straight day, we're looking to bet the under in Padres Cardinals. Rockies, first five run line against the Marlins. It'll be around minus 120 to lay the half run in the first five innings with the home team here. This is your third and final uh, day game uh, on the Power Five today. Uh, that minus 120 price, pretty much the same as it is for the Rockies to win the game. But I'm going to choose to focus on the first five and leave Colorado's league-worst bullpen out of the equation. The Rockies have taken two or three so far in the series. Probably feel they should be going for a four-game sweep today. But remember, Tuesday, that bullpen blew a six-run lead. So that's why I want to look, or get rid of that bullpen and just look to the first five here, lay that minus 120, lay the half a run. Uh, can't get look past the fact the Rockies, who are a much more competent team at home, as you know, they've led after the first five innings each of the last two games. They're the much better defensive team than the Marlins as well. That's something that gets overlooked in baseball handicap a lot. The Marlins committed four errors last night. Rockies, they're a more sound team in the field. So I'll play them first five run line again, minus half a run. One more for you in MLB tonight. Under nine and a half in Orioles-Dodgers. This is another rubber match. Orioles won as big underdogs on Tuesday. Dodgers win as short favorites Wednesday. Not sure who's going to win Thursday. Don't really care. But I don't think we're going to see many runs in the process. Now, I understand many of you are probably freaking out right now because the starting pitching matchup for this game is Cade Don't Call Me Maury Povich against Bobby Miller. But Miller had nine strikeouts in six innings his last start. Meanwhile, Povich... He's allowed three runs or fewer in seven of his last 10 starts. If we can get to the bullpens without either starter blowing up, and I don't think either will, we're going to be in great shape here. Nine and a half is too high of a total, so under it is. All right, guys, we are not only rolling here on the Power Five. 
Again, 29, 12, and 3 record the last nine days on the show. But over at wagertalk.com, I'm now on a 5 1 and 1 run the last five days with my premium plays. Went 2 0 yesterday, cashing the Guardians in what was a very fun game to attend live. Then I had a 4% best bet on the over 8.5 in Mets DVAX. Tonight, I look to make a 2 for 2 again with my top MLB play on the card, as well as my first college football play of the season. Ended last year on a red-hot 19-8 and run in CFB. Had Michigan against both Alabama and Washington. That play uh, against Alabama, that was a 5% play. It was my top college football play of the year. So head on over to wt.buzz slash bp right now for both of Thursday's premium plays. More could be added to the card later on. By the way, how about dropping a comment on which team you think is going to win the AL Central this year? I mentioned I was at the Guardians game yesterday. There were lots of discussions at the ballpark uh, over who with, out of those three teams in contention are going to win the division. Now, a moment ago, you heard me mention college football. Let me give you a free CFB winner for Thursday. And how about taking an FCS team to beat an FBS team? What a Brian Power way uh, to kick off the season this would be. Sacramento State plus three and a half versus San Jose State. They don't need to beat them. They just need to stay within a field goal. Uh, I mean, what does this line tell you? San Jose State, for those of you who may not know, does not bring back a ton of experience. Major question marks coming into the season at quarterback. Sacramento State, okay? Not only have they not had a losing season at the FCS level since 2018, but the Hornets have wins over FBS teams each of the last two years. They won at Colorado State in 2022 and at Stanford in 2023. So let's take the points with Sacramento State. The Hornets sting San Jose State in tonight's opener. Time to recap the Power Five. Going back to the top day games, Major League Baseball. Under Giants, Brewers. I like that down to eight. Number two, Padres Cardinals, under eight. Number three, Rockies' first five run line. Should be around minus 120 to lay the half the run there against the Marlins. Number four, under nine and a half in Orioles-Dodgers. And number five, Sacramento State plus three and a half versus San Jose State. A little FCS versus FBS college football for Thursday. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Also, if you already haven't done so, smash that like button right now. And if you're not already subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, go ahead and do that right now. Click that bell. You get instant alerts when all your favorite shows drop. Speaking of your favorite shows, not only do I do the Power 5 daily, but you can't forget about the morning wager with myself. And my good buddy, Mark Zinno, every Monday through Friday. That does it for the Power 5 today. Once again, my top plays for tonight, one in MLB, one in college football, will be available at wt.buzz slash bp. Also, check out that special offer. You can get a full week of winners absolutely free. Oh, by the way, today's your last day to get my 5% uh, max bet on a college football win total. I've never done a 5% on a win total before. It is my favorite win total this season, either NFL or college. We hit 70% with 5% plays in college football going all the way back to December of 2022. You can find me on X with any questions at Brian Power underscore wins. Until next time, let's catch some tickets.